Hey, and you too, to Ed. You. Nice. How about this story? All right, we're used to hearing weather warnings for thunderstorms, winter weather. In Florida, they're definitely used to hearing something about a hurricane. But how about this in South Florida? Yeah, the National Weather Service is warning people in Miami to watch out for falling iguanas. It says the, it says the lizards become immobile in 40 degree temperatures, <laughs> so they just drop. The agency says if people see one, don't touch them. They're not dead. They're stunned, even though we're showing a picture of a guy touching one. Uh, they'll move once they get warmed back up. Look, I see but his arms kind of coming to life. He's in the sun. He's like, that okay, guy's just okay, slipping I'm off up. into the water. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. I think we'd all love this to happen to us. Just like go just, frozen while it's cold, and then when it warms up, you're back like to life. It's like a book, falling iguanas. <laughs> All right, uh, let's talk about this. There are a lot of things captured on doorbell cameras, but a man in Alaska says when he was taking out the garbage, he found himself trapped by a moose. <laughs> the man quickly closed the door, called his wife, waited for her to tell him when the coast was clear, and then he could come out of the garbage bin. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> That's funny. Well, if you love the Biltmore Estate, this property is right up your alley. The Kentucky Castle's up for sale. And according to the real estate listing, the current owners spent more than $2 million renovating the castle over the past few years. It's actually a hotel with a beautiful spa and a pool and all this. So if you are interested in being an innkeeper, a hotel owner, and maybe living on this beautiful property, you can call ahead and schedule a tour. And I tried to look up the price of this thing. It's like almost 20,000 square feet. I tried to look up the price. It said price available upon request. Yeah, you have to call first. So I tried to call and they didn't <laughs> answer. And I was like, what, you're not up yet. <laughs>